I, John Wilkinson, and History Made Easier. This video uh, is focused on a very specific topic, the League of Nations Disarmament Conference. But it's a topic that potentially has a considerable payoff for you in your exam. Because you could use it as part of a possible question on the League of Nations or a possible question on appeasement or indeed a possible question on the causes of World War II. So I think you'll find this video useful. I see the, uh, the conference as really a, a diplomatic battle uh, played out from three different corners. So we can picture a, a triangle uh, here maybe. In one corner we have Britain, America and what could be described as neutral countries though Italy is supporting this position as well and that is that Germany should be allowed to rearm up to the levels of other powers. In the or a other corner, in a other corner we have France and its allies, essentially the little entente powers, um, Czechoslovakia, uh, Romania and Yugoslavia. And they maintain that they must remain more powerful than Germany. The status quo must be kept in place, must be upheld. Uh, their security depends on being more powerful than Germany. And then in the third corner, we have Germany and the other uh, defeated powers. And their position is that, look, uh, whether we rearm up to the levels of other powers or the other powers disarm down to all our level, um, it doesn't matter which, but one of those, or a mixture of both, one of those must take place. In other words, we must be treated as equal powers. Now, there is your three-way split um, in, in, in the conference. But what could have made the, the conference work is that if the French and British could have come to an agreement, because that would have forced Germany into either a compromise or a clear statement of intent, you know, intent that they were rebuilding for war. Um, but Britain and France couldn't get past the fact that they saw this issue from totally opposite directions. Uh, the British saw it as essential for French security, whereas the French saw maintaining the status quo as essential for their security. Um, they, were, they came at it from diametrically opposed positions. If I refer to my brief notes here, I've got uh, just a, f a few notes uh, because it, it, it can help me give you some detail that would be good for you, I think. Um, Sir, Sir, Sir John Simon, who was the British Foreign Secretary and leader of the British delegation at the conference, he argued for France, or he called on France, to, to really um, accept the reality. The reality that, whisper it, but Germany is rearming. So better to, to deal with this with Germany at the table. Um, if we deal with it openly, then we're more likely to, to get a, a compromise that we can all live with. 
whereas uh, the French foreign minister who led their delegation, uh, Louis Bartho, um, really uh, turned on the British and 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 accused them of a of allowing Germany to to ride roughshod over the over, over the debate and 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 accused them of of really um, uh, that Germany had got Britain in its pocket essentially. This is this is what uh, he said. Apparently. They, i.e. us, the French, uh, were to abandon any system which did not at once receive the unqualified approval of Germany. Apparently, the League of Nations, which represented nearly the whole world, had arrived at the point where one power, because it had abruptly, violently left the disarmament conference, could command it and impose its will upon it. And the British and French couldn't get past that impasse. Uh, and so France uh, got its way, and actually Hitler did too. Uh, and as for Britain, uh, well, Britain was forced to rearm. Uh, it didn't do so um, quickly, it didn't do so uh, immediately. Uh, it didn't really begin to disarm in earnest until until um, the Italians had had invaded Abyssinia and Hitler had reoccupied or remilitarized uh, the Rhineland, uh, but. Britain was uh, obliged to rearm. And so uh, there's your uh, disarmament conference and, and I think uh, a useful insight for you. Uh, one that, as I say, uh, potentially could give you uh, uh, an opportunity to gain a few more marks. In, in your exam, and that's what we're all uh, fighting for. Uh, so I hope you found uh, that useful. Uh, as always, I thank you for listening. For now, cheers. <laughs>